a new day and it is, as you can see on my clock, 12, 2, 2, 2, baby, it's 12. 22 in the afternoon. Today is gonna be pretty much like a chill day. I gotta read y'all's to-do list. Let me sit y'all down so I can get that done first. Okay, so on the to-do list today for this vloggy vlog is closet organization and spring cleaning, which I kind of already filmed that portion of the vlog a few days before when my organizer came. So I was pretty much doing organization and spring cleaning for my closet and just in general in my house because baby, the season is changing. So it's time for your girl to get rid of things that I'm not using, not utilizing and don't need that's taking up space. So, I did that. Okay guys, so today I'm going to be organizing my closet. Well, not organizing, I'm going to be sorting my closet. As y'all seen, my closet is a mess and I'm gonna show y'all again. But my organizer comes tomorrow, so today I'm gonna pretty much go into my closet and bring everything out. Lay all my purses where they're supposed to be, the shoes that's everywhere, clothes, separate my tanks to my dresses, to my pants, to my shorts, all of that because it's time to get my closet back organized because baby, like I said, I've been living out of my suitcase and on top of that, it's spring, so it's time to do a little spring cleaning and just prepare for the spring and the summertime and get all my stuff down like my sandals flip-flops like all of that different stuff so let's go upstairs so we can see what it's looking like also while we are here i want to point out how i got a new tv well this is a new tv this is the old tv this is the new tv waiting to get this removed and that put up because i'm waiting on my frame because as you see y'all already seen this before because i actually have this tv in my office in my conference room but i got a frame tv so this tv y'all is old and it's like the speaker and the tv is always lagging and giving out so i was like you know what it's time for a new one and I wanted this TV anyways in my house. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do it and I did it. So here we are. Here's my new TV, y'all. I'm so excited about this. My frame comes Friday. It was supposed to come today, but they end up delaying my shipment and it was gonna be put up tomorrow, but it ain't because it ain't gonna be here. So I'm waiting till Saturday to get this put up and I'm so excited. And on top of that, I got me a new um, sound bar and I got this one right here because baby, look at this. It's gold and this is so cute. So since I have the same frame TV that I got in my office, it's gonna be the same border. So it's gonna be the same frame around it. Well, I'm trying to debate because the one, my sound bar now is mounted. So I'm trying to see if I'm gonna mount my new sound bar, which I'm probably am. But y'all, I'm so excited for this. I cannot wait. I'm gonna show y'all when it's up and when he comes to put my TV up and stuff. But y'all, I'm super excited about my new TV. <laughs> All right, now we're heading up to get started in the closet so that I can show y'all the before and what it's looking like now. All right, y'all, here we are. As y'all have already seen how my closet looked, this is what it looked like. And like I said, it's not even bad. It's just a lot of stuff that I just threw because I haven't really just unpacked my luggage and put stuff away. Like I said, I've been living out of my luggage, so every time I travel and come back home, I throw stuff out because I got somewhere to be the next day or the next two days, after the next two days. So I have whew, throw everything out of my luggage and repack. So that's pretty much just a whole bunch of clothes from overtime and living out my luggage, y'all. So I gotta get it in order, but this is what it looks like. My jewelry, I gotta organize all of that. My bags, whew, it's a lot. I've kinda already sorted out my shoes, so all that's in order. And on top of that, I sorted out my, these are my bodysuits, these are my dresses, and biker shorts, shorts, and then these are crop tops and tops. So I'm about to turn on my music, and we are about to get ready to bring all of this stuff out, sorted and organized, so let's get it. Whoosh. Let's get to it. So I'm opening up boxes because I'm throwing away all the boxes that stuff is in. Some of this stuff, y'all, I haven't even opened yet. Like, I just completely forgot that I bought these shoes. And look at them, they so cute. I gotta do me a look with these for the summertime, baby. But I'm about to take all my shoes out of the box, break down the boxes, and throw all the paper and stuff in them away. All right, y'all, come in the closet now, and this is what it looks like. So I cleared out everything, sorted out all my clothes, so then when my organizer comes, everything is already where it needs to be so that she can organize as see fit because you see these are my jumpsuits. Clearly, I've been reaching and grabbing stuff and not folding it back and putting it back, so she gonna redo all of that. And my floor, you can finally walk in my closet. All right, y'all, so I got this package, which I waited to open on the vloggy vlog. If y'all know, you know. I love this brand, and they sent your girl a whole bunch of freaking hats, and I'm super excited. 
because, well, if y'all follow me on Instagram, if you've seen on Instagram, you know I've taken pictures. So, you know, you know I insert a little picture so that y'all can see. These are the hats, y'all. They see me four different hats. <gasps> and y'all, this matches an outfit, actually, that I have planned. So I didn't even have to buy this hat because I already got it. They see me this one. <gasps> Ooh, baby. Look at this. The gray. Oh, and this one. And then this is the last one. Oh, this is cute. And this is like suede. And then this one has like a little safety pin. Y'all see it? See? Look at all of them. They so cute. Shout out to them for sending your girl these hats, baby. I am so excited. And this one I already have a look for, so stay tuned for this. So as y'all can see, this is like my hat collection. I don't know what I'm gonna actually do with these hats. I need to buy some more little hat stands, but that's the one that I already have that I posted on my Instagram before. So if y'all seen, you seen. I have this one already, and then I have this one, and then the white one under it already. So oh, I just gotta add all the other four that was sent to me to the collection. All right, y'all. So I just ended up stacking them until I figure out how I wanna organize them. This is what it's looking like now, and I got all of them laid out. Ooh, so excited! So cute. All right, y'all. So I want to show y'all these shoes because these are more shoes that I got, y'all, that I haven't opened because I was waiting to show y'all on the blog blog. First off, let me show y'all this pair of shoes because if y'all know, I love this brand, Jennifer. My girl, she Aries. Ah, shout out to you, baby. She said, well, she DM me and she was like, "Do you like these?" Because I want to send them to you for your birthday for Aries season. She only made one, so it was a one on one. So like, I'm the only person with these pair of shoes, and she gifted it to her fellow Aries <laughs> so let me show y'all how they look oh! <laughs> y'all look at this Jennifer Lee hope you love your piece as much as, I did, as much as I enjoy designing it so these are the shoes y'all look at these y'all can't convince me that G's junks ain't freaking fire and your girl is the only person with these shoes i'm so hyped i cannot wait to get a look style with these because baby i'm about to be stepping so shout out to jennifer again for my gift for my birthday gift my one of one shoes okay let me show y'all what else i got about these shoes about these actually actually i don't recall this how they look oh they so cute and i got them also in this color which I'm not even, see yeah, I wasn't tripping. So I only ordered one pair. Well, I only ordered this pair. I only ordered the new pair. And they sent me two actually. So I'm, I'm looking like two came in a box, but I re only recall ordering one pair. And I thought I was tripping like, okay, maybe I did order two, but on my order is only one. And I ordered this pair. This is the pair that I ordered. And they actually sent me this pair too. So it's the same shoe, just black black and nude so i'm excited about these baby who cannot wait and next up we have these boots look at these junk. look at these y'all it's like denim and in the back of it zips down you can't tell me these just ain't fire baby look at it so i got those so i'm about to go ahead and take them out the box break these boxes down but I'm about to first try on these shoes because I want to see how they look on me okay there we go oh <gasps> look at these oh they so freaking nice y'all love them all right y'all so actually I'm about to go ahead and start making dinner So I'm about to get ready to make hot roast, y'all. I've been craving this, so I'm super excited. And I'm gonna make it with broccoli. And y'all should already know, baby, my freaking cornbread that I love, my favorites. And I, y'all already know I like sauce it up myself with my little own thing to it. And then I got onion powder because I needed this. I actually still need a few other seasons to refill my seasons in my season drawer. However, this was one of the things that I needed ASAP because it's, this is gonna be with what I'm making, so I needed it right away. And then I got milk for my cornbread. So I'm about to get ready to go ahead and throw all of this stuff in the crock pot. And I love this um, thing because it comes with potatoes, carrots, the onion, and then 
the beef in a seasoning pack, but I season it myself, so I still use this, but it's not necessary because I use my own seasonings. And then my rosemary and my thyme leaves that I need. I already got my crock pot on, so all I gotta do is pour, well, pour everything in. And also, beef broth this is another thing that I put in there. So y'all, I like to season my meat before I put it inside of the pot. So, paprika is what I use. Slip, yeah, me and me, y'all know my favorite seasoning, baby. My onion powder, garlic powder, and then Himalayan salt. All right, y'all, so my meat is all seasoned. Alright y'all, the crock pot is on and the pot roast is cooking. Y'all, I forgot to show y'all my new little cup. My little mug, my little tea mug, cause y'all know I'll be drinking my tea. I try to drink my tea every morning and every night. And look at it y'all, it's so cute. It's from Amazon, it'll be on my storefront. Also today, y'all, I'm juicing. So y'all know like I've done a jutox, like a detox juice before, which was three days. So I'm doing a one day again, y'all, because your girl is trying to get fast snatched and ready for her B-Day, which y'all know your girl B-Day is April 17th. Shout out to all the Aries, April Aries. We best, we lit it. And your girl is super excited. <laughs> Your girl turned 27, so my birthday is coming up, y'all. It is April 10th, so my B-Day is literally like right around the corner. Also on the studio list, I need to pack for my vacay slash my B-Day trip and like everything that I'm doing for my B-Day because baby, it's gonna be a lot. So I have a lot to pretty much think about like far as like what I'm packing, what am I bringing. And then also I'm getting my eyebrows done today as well because it's Monday and my lady doesn't work on Tuesday and Wednesday. So yeah, I need to be going today. I should've went yesterday but I don't think no she does work on Sundays but I was working out and I was too busy yesterday so I couldn't go yesterday so I'm gonna go today because she worked today and I already called and she's there I gotta do that too get my eyebrows threaded and and get ready for the b-day so let me show y'all the juice so these are my juices I've already drunk my number one which is this one as you can see focus baby number one it's already down I have number two I have number three and I have my number four which is whoo baby this is the this is the one that you drink at night because this is supposed to like be a bur be a fat burner so it like you know burns the fat in your belly and you know when you wake up the next day whoo child trust me you're gonna lose a lot of inches off your waist so that's why your girl's trying to do this all quickly so I can prepare myself for my birthday because when I got back from Miami I kind of slacked off working out because like before I went to Miami I was like in a gym consistently but then when I got back I kind of like started slacking so I said you know what I went to work out yesterday and today I'm gonna do a juice so that I can try to get there quickly baby but your girl is 134 and I'm so freaking happy because back when I first started working out like a few before Miami so that was like early March I was like 139 and right now I'm 134 which baby I am so happy about because that is like the perfect weight like 134 maybe 135 136 I like my main goal is pretty much just toning like I just want to tone I mean I want my six pack to peak the room like it's already there yeah I'm like kind of see a girl got a little six pack or whatever but I need that junk to be poking out so that's kind of like my main goal I don't want to lose weight I like my weight and oh also y'all my thighs was 40 inches you won't believe what my thighs is now y'all 23 inches Baby, I was like, that should be illegal because I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I like my thighs big and I like my thighs juicy, so. But I mean, they still kind of look. I mean, honestly, I don't see a difference, but I guess that's like a, what happens when you tone up and all of that. But your girl thighs went from a 40 inch to 23 inches. So yeah, um, I'm about to, you're supposed to drink a gallon of water, but I told myself that I'm going to slow down on a gallon because this is what I'm drinking when I do my juice. 
I drink four of these, which with Ecologanin, I already drunk one, so I filled it back up. So this is gonna be my second one. And I usually do four, but I think today, I'm just gonna end up doing three. I'm gonna try to push myself to do four. I've done four before when I did my one day previously. But baby, drinking so much water, like it makes my stomach hurt so bad, but, and I be peeing so much, especially when I have to go get my eyebrows done. So that's pretty much the only thing that I'm doing when it comes to getting out because I can't eat. So the only thing I'm doing is drinking my juice and drinking my water. So I think I'm gonna try to push myself to just do three because I'm not trying to overdo it. But you know, if I can do four, if I finish my three, then I can do that because I've already finished one. So I'm about to start drinking my second one and head upstairs so that I can kind of get my closet, not my closet, <laughs> start packing because birthday season, airy season. And not only that, baby, it's Lord Bay birthday, one year. So I'm gonna insert my closet organization and all of that when my organizer came over so that y'all can see how that went. And the before and the after, baby, because woo, that before and after will do something to you. And I just feel like when you have a clean house and an organized house, it just makes your mind and like, you know, like emotionally, physically, all of that. I just feel like it just does something to you. Like it makes you more motivated when your house is clean. It makes you more motivated when your stuff is in order, when you know where everything is. And it's just like, when I'm, I have stuff all over the place. Like when my closet look like that, when y'all see it, which I'm pretty sure y'all seen it in the last vlog because I told y'all I was gonna vlog it for y'all when I get it together. I can even go in my closet. That door literally stayed closed until I got my life together until I was like, all right, I'm ready to organize, I'm ready to get together and I'm ready to bring my organizer Alexis back over. So it's our footage of me organizing and getting my closet together. Good morning, OGs. Well, it's actually not morning, it's 425 and it's the next day because we finishing off where we left off yesterday when I was starting and sorting my closet and all of that because today my organizer is actually here. She's been here for a while and we've made progress. She's been going child, working real fast. So let me show y'all what we've been doing. So since I said it's gonna be like me cleaning and preparing and getting rid of stuff and putting new stuff in, this is like all the stuff that I kind of sorted out my closet and got rid of. I went through like my joggers, my pants, my top, and now I'm about to go do my dresses. And as y'all see, when I had all of my clothes, lined up here sorted out they are all gone so here y'all we have the dresses and then I'm about to get ready to go through my dress drawer and just kind of see what I don't wear cuz child if I haven't worn in a while and don't plan on wearing it it's no point in me even keeping it because it's just taking up too much room and it's a lot of stuff in here I already worn and I'm probably never gonna wear it again so I've already went through my jumpsuit drawer as you can see I cleared it out got rid of some things and this is all the new ones all nice and folded just like how it used to be and then I also have to go through this drawer which is with my biker shorts my shorts and then my leggings. Here's Alexis again, say hi! Y'all. <laughs> y'all already know her, the best organizer. All right, y'all, so I'm about to get ready to search through this drawer, like I said, get rid of, hopefully I get rid of a lot, Shay. I'll be looking through these like, oh, I want that, I want that, but I'm trying to move stuff out so that I can have new stuff coming in, all my new stuff that I'm coming in. And then a lot of stuff that I already wore, it's just, it's no point in me saving it because 9 out of 10, I will not wear it again, so. Your girl is about to do that. Ooh, I'm actually keeping this dress. I'm actually gonna pack this when I go to LA. Y'all, look at this dress. Everybody has this dress, and I wore it, but I never took pictures in it, so. I don't think I need it no more, child. I think we can get rid of her, but it's just a... I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I finished looking through my dress drawer and all of this stuff here. It's pretty much what I decided to give away and let go because I don't need it and it's no point of keeping it. And I'm actually, y'all, I bought this dress because I thought it was so cute and I haven't even wore it. And I'm just like, child, ain't no point of keeping it. But it's so cute. Look at it. Oh, no, nah, I ain't gonna even do it, child. I think I'm gonna go through it one more time, y'all, just to double check and make sure I'm not just keeping stuff that's a keep. But I feel like this is a good amount of stuff that I'm letting go. Oh, that's for me. All right, y'all, so we're coming back in here and this is all done. She finished this closet, sorted all of my hoodies, my matching sets when they come to my sweatsuits and stuff so that I went through all of these, got rid of what I didn't want anymore and I wasn't utilizing, and here we are. And then she refolded all my, my graphic t-shirts. She did all of them. I completely forgot. Also, y'all, I have a meeting with my agency at 5 p.m. So I'm gonna have to take a break go join my meeting and then resume because I'm ready to get this wrapped up because like I said I am starving. It is about to be five o'clock and I haven't eaten nothing all day but a Starbucks drink. <laughs> 
a few moments later so y'all i just finished my five o'clock meeting and i'm back in my closet alexis is pretty much done child she's been reorganized all my drawers and she told me this one child i got a lot of tanks and a lot of crop tops but she said i need to go through this because it's some stuff i can get rid of and she'll come back and organize it on her so baby i'm gonna do that because it is a lot of stuff in here which is why it's folded up nice but it's still packed to the rim and i know a lot of stuff i had probably doubles of and stuff i just don't wear so i can get rid of a lot more of that but she done my dresses and just reorganize this is like my biker shorts and tank tops and so some of these i probably can get rid of also and then y'all already seen the jumpsuits and so since i have a whole bunch of jackets and stuff she ended up putting it on my little rack that i have because my coat closet is filled to the brim baby so i need to go through my coats also because there's a lot of coats that i can you know just get rid of y'all because your girl ain't trying to hoarder and i ain't trying to go back to what i was before but you know a lot of these jackets well child i'm lying not none of these but some in my coat closet i can look through and get rid of by the way y'all i changed it to this dress for my little meeting so i could be professional but look at your girl and look, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I still have my tan from Miami and I'm so happy about it. Your girl still got a tan. So y'all, I had a pair of grace that I gave Alexis and I took this from my shoot last time because I just really wanted to click stuff, but I don't need it. So I'm giving her the full thing, baby. She got the car in, the little pouch, and then the duster. Hey y'all seen like my before and after my closet and how I organized all of that. And when my organizer came over and helped out, y'all she was so proud of me because I showed her a picture because when she came over, you could see my floors. So I made sure I got all that together and I made sure I, you know, sorted out all my clothes before she got here. And so it made it easier for her to just come in and fold everything and re, you know, organize everything. So when I showed her the before, she was like, you did it? I said, girl, yes, I surely did. I got it together for you, baby. So she was proud of your girl, so give your girl a pat on the back. Yeah. And a lot of people ask as well, what do I do? Because I did have a few things that I, you know, took out of my closet and took out when I was organizing that I was getting rid of. And a lot of people ask me, like, what do I do with that stuff? Like, if y'all know, I had pop-up shops in the past, but now I'm kind of getting better with, you know, not letting things get to that magnitude to the point where I can have a whole freaking store. So usually I was just um, organized. I mean, not, not organized, but like take out old things when I'm, you know, buying new things. I kind of, you know, slacked off, but I'm gotten better. So usually I give, like, stuff to my organizer like if she wants it I give it to her or I donate it to people in need or my mom or my friends anybody who wants it they can have it baby but that's usually like I'll ask her if she wants it before I give it away and if she don't want it I'll ask somebody else and if they don't want it then I'll donate it to somebody to people in need and just donate it in general because it's no use for it here and I know it's a lot a lot of good stuff that I be giving away and I be like I just don't want to see it go but one thing I would love like I don't mind is giving away to somebody I know who utilize it and my organizer she has got gotten me like I've gave her many things for my closet when I've um, organized with her and when she's cleaned out my closet in the past and baby she know how to dress so I know my clothes ain't gonna you know go to waste so I don't mind you know giving it away even though I'll be like so sad to see it go but yes y'all that is complete also too y'all seen that your girl got a new TV and new speaker and that was put up yesterday that was installed yesterday so let me show y'all that but first y'all this water is a struggle it's a struggle to take it down so what I try to do is like gulp a whole bunch at once and like as y'all already seen like it has like the 8 a.m 9 a.m so it's 12 so we'll, i'm gonna try my best to kind of drink all the way to 12 right now and then i'll kind of be halfway through oh my water number two but let's come over here because your girl got her tv up yesterday <laughs> Y'all don't understand, I am so happy, but as y'all seen already, I got a new TV, I got the frame TV, and then I got a, a new speaker as well because the one I had, it was done, so I needed to match the whole full aesthetic, and maybe when y'all see this, yeah, it is beautiful, brace yourself. First, let me show y'all, this is the old TV, as y'all know, and like I already explained, it's just old, y'all. I've had this TV for a long time, and it's been going out, like, glitching, doing too much, baby, and I don't have time for it, but the only thing is, this TV right here is a 75-inch. The new TV I got is a 65-inch, which I am so freaking stupid y'all oh okay so let me explain to y'all what i'm talking about like i said my old tv is 75 inches and my new tv 
is 65 inches. Before I even knew that my old TV was 75 inches, I measured it. I did measure it first, and I was like, oh, okay, this is 65, so that's what I assumed that the TV was. And I'm looking like, okay, this is big. You know, 65, 65 is big. 65 inches is big, but I measured this, and I'm like, okay, this is 65. So my next TV, when I get my new TV, it's gonna be 75. When I measure my TV, I measure from here to there. And this, from here to there, is about 65 inches, which is why I assumed this TV was 65 inches! Until I was educated that when you measure a TV, it's measured not from this side to that side, it's from down here to up there. And when I measured this, this was 75 inches. So when I realized that my TV was already bought, it was already sitting here, they already delivered, it was already in my freaking home. And my TV came before my friend came. So I was like, oh, okay, my old TV was 75, my new TV I got is 65, how did I how did I miss that, but whatever. And I was like, okay, it's still gonna be good, it's still gonna be a nice size, which it is. But I was just so mad, y'all, because I had no clue that's how you measure TVs. Like, I didn't know you measure TVs from one corner to the next corner beside, instead of side to side. But I got a 65 and it's up and it's so cute, let me show you. All right, y'all. Are y'all ready? Oh, I hate when like what the camera does that. Like, I don't know what that is. Like, it don't look like that, y'all. It's just like that's how it's coming up on my camera. So let me back up so it might look a little better. Okay, there you go. You can see it much better. And here it is, y'all. This is my new TV, and I love it so much, y'all. This freaking my new soundbar. This right here. Oh, I'm obsessed because it's gold and it matches perfectly with my aesthetic, but y'all, and the frame also looks good as well. That came out perfect, I love that, so that was a great pick. And I just got like a regular picture on here, and this is a 65 inch. I know like a 75 inch would be even bigger. So while the TV was on the wall, I was thinking like, dang, should I just, you know, go get 75 inch? And then just put this TV in my master bedroom, and then give that TV in that room away, even though, you know, nothing's wrong with that one. This one is the one that is old and it's, I can't deal with the glitching. You turn it up, if you know, you know. If when you turn up your TV, it should not be, you know, blanking out. And that's what it was doing. And I just hated it because I never just watched TV in here for that reason. So I'm excited because now I can watch, you know, TV. But y'all, I literally was sitting here thinking like, dang, should I do the 75 inch even though it's already on the wall? Comment below and let me know. But either way, it looks good. I think I'm just end up keeping it because I think 65 isn't, you know, it's bad. But I'm just so used to seeing my old TV, which was 75 inches. And I'm just like, ugh, it looks small compared to that, but it's still big and I love it so much and it just looks so sleek and it's just so perfect oh yes <laughs> y'all don't understand how happy i am like woo! in my sound bar like i was saying baby this junk here i connect my phone when i was playing music and stuff early this morning and y'all it does the freaking job like when i tell you that speaker be booming like i turned it up not even all the way to the max and it was Super loud, like it has such a huge bass. Like it is, like it's so loud. And I'm just like, ooh, I don't wanna be blasting it too loud, baby, because I don't wanna get no complaints. But y'all, it 10 out of 10. Let me give y'all an overview of my house. I got this out here. This actually goes on my stairs, but I put it right there away from my cats because Pierre, my white cat, y'all know the boy, he always he like scratching at it and eating it or kicking it down and it just gets so dirty on the floor. So I ended up putting it in my room and then putting it back out here. So I'm moving back. Also, I put my two chairs back down here from, you know, I moved them up when it came to Christmas, but I moved them back. I got my new little, well, these ain't new, these are old. This one's actually old, but it was usually in there, but I just took it out and put it on my coffee table. And then this is my new remote, which this is the only ro remote that's gonna be out because as you can see, baby, it's white, so it matches the vibe. The black ones y'all is under him but that is the overview you see the tv like look at let me show y'all from the side how sleek this is look at this obviously it's a frame tv so it's meant to look like a picture but it's just so crazy how that how it works like it's just magical because when i had this tv up my cable box which is in here this big old thing was behind my tv so obviously since this is a frame tv and it's so sleek my cable box couldn't go in there so he hid all my cords and put my cable box under and then mounted my speaker but this is how it look y'all oh i am so obsessed like i love it so much like look at it i'm gonna go back all right so i came back further so y'all can see how it looks from this distance but y'all it doesn't look it doesn't look you know 
it's smaller compared to my 75 inch because that's what I'm used to seeing up there but even though that TV is so so much bigger and bulky this one is looks sleeker and it's smaller because it's 65 but I don't think it looks bad y'all comment below what you think I love it so much though oh also I want to show y'all and put y'all on to this freaking candle warmer like y'all you will never ever 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 have to light a candle again and it be having my house smell so good like i turn it on it's kind of like a lamp so i love it but you don't even have to burn the candle like with lighter you just turn this on which is pretty much like a lamp and you just turn it up and then the heat from the lamp kind of melts the candle and kind of makes your house smell good and it smells exactly like if you lit it up and on top of that obviously it matches my home and my aesthetic because it's a white and gold so the detailing is perfect Perfect. It looks so good right here because I had a vase right here. So I ended up moving the vase and just putting this right here because I feel like it's so perfect and it's good for nighttime. So I can use it as a nightlight. And then on top of that, it makes my whole house smell good. So y'all, get y'all one of these. Y'all better go and get y'all one of these. I'm gonna get two actually because I ordered one because I want to kind of trial run it and it's perfect. So I'm gonna get another one. So I'm gonna have two. So this one's gonna be right here in my living room and the other one's gonna be in my master bedroom. But y'all, this is from Amazon. I'm gonna put it on my storefront for y'all. So y'all, I have all of my PR boxes from every collection in my office because these was kind of tucked into my closet. But when my organizer came out, she ended up taking them out. So I put them up here so, you know, they can go somewhere and not my closet not being cluttered. So I put them here, which I think I'm probably gonna end up taking them to my office, but I think I like them here. But I want them to be on display. But you know, these two, like the first. Y'all, this is my first freaking PR box. How crazy is that? I still got the bag, the box, obviously, because, you know. But y'all, look at this. My first one. And then I have my one from my fall collection right here. And then I have the limited edition one with my face on it. And then I have another one of me. <laughs> and then I have my Valentine's Day collection one. Y'all, this is crazy to, like, have all of this and then just think about, like, it's about to be a year soon. And to think that my year has, like, expanded so much in such, like, a short time. But, it, like, I feel like a year goes by so fast. I look at a year as, like, short. Like, a year doesn't even seem long to me anymore. But, y'all, a year. Think about it, baby. Your girl, Lord Bay, is about to be a year. I am just like... <laughs> All right, y'all, so y'all already seen the app in my closet. Don't mind this stuff because this is stuff that I'm packing for my trip. I was laying out my swimsuit. I just bought this swimsuit and it's so freaking cute. Ugh, it is so freaking pretty. Like, I just like, it just looks so cute and dainty. And then on top of that, I ordered so much more stuff to pack, which I like ordering stuff when I go on trip because when it's time to pack, I kind of already know what I'm packing, if that makes sense. And I kind of have barely go into my drawers and stuff and pull out stuff and then make my closet all dirty and declutter again. But baby, I also got these shoes from Zara and they kind of look like Yeezys, but I'm going to use them for like pool shoes and just walking on a day to day. Like, I think they would be so cute with this swimsuit I have. What I said I'm going to do, I bought, like since I bought a lot of new stuff to pack for my travel, I decided that I'm just going to end up packing and just kind of playing in my fits on the fly instead of planning them now and then packing which oh I can but y'all that's gonna be too much I just don't I just don't feel like it but look at this skirt that I got tell me this ain't cute this is gonna be look this is gonna look so cute I don't know what type of shoes I want because I can wear sandals and I can wear heels but your girl trying to be comfy so I might end up wearing these with ooh, ooh I just thought about it so technically these won't be heels this is a wedge not a heel and they still gonna be comfortable i ain't gonna worry about walking in no freaky heels but these shoes with this okay i lie i'm actually gonna style all my fits well not all but most and then the rest i'm just gonna bring swimsuits because i'm probably gonna be wearing swim swimsuits the whole time and y'all i'm flying this um hairstylist out who's doing my hair out there so she's coming out which i'm not gonna say for what because i really just don't want to say it because this vlog is gonna go up way before the end and i just don't want to tell y'all but y'all will see in the vloggy vlog and then when my birthday vlogs come out y'all will see and know but so i'm flying this hairstylist out to california and she gonna do my hair a hairstyle i ain't never had before and i'm just so excited because y'all know baby one thing about me is i'm gonna pull off any style like i don't care what it is i feel like i can pull off any freaking hairstyle like it don't matter and i like getting out my comfort zone especially when it comes to my hair because it's not much i can do with my real hair like i can't really do bob so if i were want a bob i have to do either a wig because my hair is too long to have leave out and all that stuff so like i feel like short hairstyles i love but i can't do unless i unless i have a wig and i don't really like wigs no more y'all i'm kind of over the wig situation but y'all just stay tuned for the freaking looks the birthday vlog and the hairstyle i'm talking about it's gonna be lit 
and I cannot wait for y'all to see. <laughs> These shoes I'm definitely packing and bringing with that skirt. Oh, so I'm not going out of country for my birthday, my actual birthday, but I am going out of country a lot this year in summertime. Summertime, I'm just gonna be all over the world and on the plane. But baby, look at what came. I've waited. You don't understand. This was on freaking, what's it called, back order? I think it was on back order or I did pre, or I did, dang, was it back order? What's it, what's it called? Oh, it's literally on the tip of my tongue. Oh, I can't even think of it, y'all. What is it called when you order something that's not released yet and you kind of pretty much already pay for it so that you, you kind of in front of the line when it's in stock. Oh, I hate when it's happening to be on the tip of your tongue. You be thinking about so much you can't get it out. Y'all, anyway, I waited since 2022 for this, but it's so pretty and it's so beautiful and I'm just so excited for it. Y'all, look at it. Oh, isn't it a beauty? So this is like my other, y'all see my other passport case, the silver one, and this is the one that I got myself it's like so sparkly oh. and you want to know so funny the person who bought me my silver passport literally was like they was gonna give me this one but i already bought it i was like oh look at this passport i ordered and it was like oh my god i was gonna get that one lucky i didn't lucky didn't because i already ordered it for myself but y'all i'm so excited for this i've never had a passport holder this one and my silver one is gonna be in rotation all summer long so stay freaking tuned let me give y'all a look it's sparkly it's actually like from the brand where i get like my sparkly purses from so oh it's so pretty and so all I gotta do is put my passport in there and then boom, traveling with style. So I'ma actually try on that skirt and that swimsuit so y'all can see how I look, y'all, it's so cute. But I also got a lot of new jewelry for the summertime. I got this necklace, like, I think I'ma actually save this because I'm planning on going to Turks this year. Yeah, this year, this summer. So I feel like this would be the Turks vibe, y'all. Like, look at this. Look at the details of it. So it's like a whole bunch of shells and this, I'm actually packing for my birthday trip because it's gonna match my aesthetic and my vibe this whole freaking trip. So look at it, y'all. Isn't it so cute? So it's like kind of like a necklace and then this part, the little cross kind of goes down and this is kind of snapped behind your neck and it's gonna be like dangled. So I'm gonna wear this with like a low cut top so that you can see the detail of the necklace because details, baby, you need them. All right, y'all, so I put on a top, which I'm not sure if I'm actually wearing it. I feel like it's cute, so I might. And then this top has this little tie around. So I might end up wearing this this top with this skirt i don't know i like it without the tie and i like it with the top too because i feel like that'll be so cute especially with the hearse oh but i just threw on this shirt so i can show y'all but this is the skirt let me come back so y'all can see y'all tell me this is not cute and i feel like it made my booty look so good like <laughs> look at it y'all do you see it and i feel like it's so cute and dainty i love the detailing on the front i don't know if y'all can see let me kind of come back stand on my tiptoes so y'all can see it baby but this is what the skirt look like and i honestly i like it high up but then i also want to see or wear it kind of like low like this like i feel like it would be cute like this also all right y'all so this is the swimsuit i was showing y'all look how cute this is i thought this was so cute and dainty like i like the top like it's not just like a regular bikini top that's what i love about it but y'all i love it oh Y'all, in the midst of changing, I just got my pictures back from my shoot I had back in March when I was out there, when I was out in LA for Leah's birthday and for a little baby one year. So I just got my pictures back. Well, I just got the edited ones, like the re-re-edited ones. Y'all, ah! I'm so freaking happy. I am just so freaking in shock and in awe. Wow. Wow. This right here is my yeah, it looks so good. Love it, love it, you? All right, y'all, it is 1.55 and I had to change because I gotta get ready to head out so that I can go get my eyebrows done so that I can be back home before traffic time and I can finish packing. But I got on this little sweatsuit, which, y'all, I'm wearing this at the airport, baby, because I forgot I had this. It is so cute because the yellow, the little smiley face matched the yellow of my shoes. I got my purse and I got my water bottle in there so that I can finish my water. Number two. And I think I should bring my juice number two so that I don't get behind. So yeah, I'm gonna bring that too, depending on how long I'm gone. Go ahead and bring juice number two also. All right, y'all, so I've made it, but look at this. So I am down to 10 a.m., y'all. I said I was gonna get down to 12 p.m. It is 2.41 now, and I didn't make it because, 
It's a lot. But I'm about to start drinking on my number two. And I got a pee so bad. So I'm about to run in here, take a little tinkle first, and then get my eyebrows done. Because, oh, this is why, one, I don't like doing the detox juice when I'm, when I got stuff to do, when I got a whole bunch of errands. Like, luckily, I only got to do my um, eyebrows because I got everything else done earlier. But this is why I don't like to have nothing on my agenda. Like, I want to be home and not out because I be having to pee every two seconds. And I hate it, especially when you driving and it hits you when you driving on the highway, baby. And you can't just pull over and go pee. Woo! But baby, I'm about to go get my eyebrows done. I'm about to get the brows did, y'all. Don't mind my lashes. I get my, I got lash form at 8 a.m. in the morning, so I'm getting these junks done. I had these lashes on for a while because my lash tech, she took a break. And baby, I don't like just, you know, going to anybody, especially when I've already gotten so used to somebody. So I waited it out. It's been a few weeks, and I haven't even got my lashes done. They still look good, actually. It looks like I've had my, actually kind of looks like I've already had my lashes done. But now, nah, y'all, this one right here, I'm gonna show you. Surprise, it ain't fail yet, baby. But this one over here dangling. And you know, once your lashes start to fall down, oh, there it is. Y'all see it? It's literally dangling, but but that's why when you get your lashes done or you leave them on for so long, you know when it's time to get them filled in or you know when it's time to get like your lashes redone because they start to like fall, like dangle. But luckily, like I don't be shedding lashes. My lashes don't be coming out. They still be looking full. But yeah, I need a little touch up before B day. A few moments later. All right, y'all. So I've made it back home. As you can see, wait. Let me show y'all the brows, baby. Y'all already know the brows look good because every time I get my brows done, they be looking good. Obviously, but y'all, I'm still on number two. I'm still on water bottle number two, but I've made it to four o'clock and it is five o'clock now, so I'm doing pretty good. And I only have two juices left and then one more of these. So I think your girl is doing great, but I'm about to get ready to finish up packing and laying out my fits and getting all that stuff together because, yeah. And I'm just sitting here like, y'all, I don't have like my mind is just in a whole completely different place y'all because I'm not eating so when I ain't eating no food because right now five o'clock I probably would have been eating it was time for me to eat and then I can rejuvenate but baby I can't rejuvenate because I ain't eating but you know I got my juices y'all but it ain't food it ain't juicy crab which is really what I'm craving today like I literally woke up craving juicy crab knowing I had the juice today like but I gotta do it because your girl is trying to lose a few inches before beating all right, y'all, I just gulped this all down, so I am done with number two. Whew. All right, y'all, after like 50 million years, I am done packing. That's the last thing, and then I close this up, baby. I just know this luggage about to be 90 pounds. All right, you guys, so after packing for the last five hours, your girl is done, and I'm tired. I got a headache. As you can see back there, I still have my number four juice and one more water left, so. And it is... Oh, it's 10 10. Literally on the dock, y'all. I looked at the clock at 10 10. So it's 10 10. I gotta get up early in the morning because I got a lash appointment. But I'm about to get ready to close out. Try to make myself swallow that water and swallow that lash juice so I can wake up with a snatched waist. But I hope you all enjoyed this vloggy vlog. And I'll see you all tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this vlog vlog. And I'll see you in the next vlog vlog. Bye. Also, I forgot to mention, if you guys noticed in the clip where I was making my pot roast, I never showed y'all the finishing product. 10 out of 10, baby, it was so good. It was delicious. I ate it. So, that was the update for that. And I made cornbread and broccoli with it. 10 out of 10. All right, I'm going to bed for real. Good night. Bye.